Hi friends of Decent Fretboard Animations. Today let's construct the four basic seventh chords on the high string set, all over the fretboard. Here's a G minor seventh chord. From this simple shape, we will construct the dominant seventh, the major seventh and the minor seven flat five chords all over the fretboard. The minor 7th chord consists of the root labeled 1, the minor 3rd labeled M3, the 5th labeled 5 and the 7th labeled 7. The root labeled 1 is on the 3rd fret of the high E string. Of course, the minor 7th chord is the minor triad. With the 7th added, Now let's construct the G dominant 7th chord from the minor 7th chord. We do this by raising the minor 3rd to the major 3rd. The short name of the G dominant 7th chord is the G 7th chord. I use the full name to avoid confusion with other 7th chords. And of course, the dominant 7th chord is the major triad. With the 7th added, Note how the G dominant 7th chord wants to resolve into a C major 7th chord. Back to the dominant 7th chord. Next, let's construct the major 7th chord from the dominant 7th chord. We do this by raising the 7th to the major 7th. This voicing sounds a bit weird, but we will learn beautiful sounding voicings when we go up the neck. Finally, let's construct the minor 7 flat 5 chord. Let's go back to the minor 7th chord first. We construct the minor 7 flat 5 chord by lowering the 5th of the minor 7th chord to the flat 5. To the minor 7th chord. Let's move up to the next inversion. Again, we have a G minor 7th chord. The root labeled 1 is on the 5th fret of the D string now. Let's construct the dominant 7th chord from this chord voicing. Again we do this by raising the minor 3rd to the major 3rd. the G dominant 7th chord wants to resolve into a C major 7th chord. Back to the dominant 7th chord. Next, let's construct the major 7th chord from the dominant 7th chord. We do this by raising the 7th to the major 7th. This voicing sounds much nicer than the weird one on the 3rd fret. Finally, let's construct the minor 7 flat 5 chord. Let's go back to the minor 7th chord first. We construct the minor 7 flat 5 chord by lowering the 5th of the minor 7th chord to the flat 5. Back to the minor 7th chord. Let's move up to the next inversion. Again, we have a G minor 7th chord. The root labeled 1 is on the 8th fret of the B string now. Let's construct the dominant 7th chord from this chord by raising the minor 3rd to the major 3rd. Note how the G dominant 7th chord wants to resolve into a C major 7th chord. This is the weird voicing we found on the 3rd fret. Sounds quite okay in context, right? Back to the dominant 7th chord. Next, let's construct the major 7th chord from the dominant 7th chord. We do this by raising the 7th to the major 7th. This one looks difficult to play, but it's easier than you think. And it sounds beautiful, it's my favorite voicing. 
Finally, let's construct the minor 7 flat 5 chord. Let's go back to the minor 7th chord first. Let's construct the minor 7 flat 5 chord by lowering the 5th to the flat 5. Back to the minor 7th chord. Let's move up to the last inversion. Again, we have a G minor 7th chord. The root labeled one is on the 12th fret of the G string now. Let's construct the dominant 7th chord from this chord by raising the minor 3rd to the major 3rd. Note how the G dominant 7th chord wants to resolve into a C major 7th chord. Back to the dominant 7th chord. Next, let's construct the major 7th chord from the dominant 7th chord. We do this by raising the 7th to the major 7th. Finally, let's construct the minor 7 flat 5 chord. Let's go back to the minor 7th chord first. Let's construct the minor 7 flat 5 chord by lowering the 5th to the flat 5. Back to the minor 7th chord. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you find this useful, please press the like button and subscribe. If you like, you can buy me a coffee at www.buymeacoffee.com slash ankajaz.